this whole section is under construction. Uh, for the longest time, between, uh, I guess it starts at, uh, I'll call it mile marker, it's actually kilometer marker, but mile marker is easier to say. So, started at mile marker 320 um, in Acton. Um, they're gonna make this all at least six lanes each way. And forever it's been three lanes each way, six lanes all together, but they're adding express and collectors. So right now they're improving the bridges and they're gonna put or, uh, collectors lanes there and this will be express. But while it's under construction, it's still three lanes wide. Um, and we're actually coming up to the 407 where traffic usually starts slowing down just a little bit. Wondering if I can get a chance to make it over a lane. Um, but if it's your first time going through Toronto and you're a little bit nervous about how to get through there, if you're just driving straight through Toronto, you can take 401 Express the whole way. And the three lanes from the left will go all the way through Toronto. Trucks aren't allowed in the farthest left lane, so usually you sit in either of these two lanes. Um, this lane that we're in right now, the right lane, this is uh, this is the traveling lane and for trucks, and the middle lane there is uh, the passing lane. But a lot of people get sick of the traffic coming in and out of this right lane here. So a lot of guys will sit in the middle lane. We'll actually make our way over there right now. They'll sit in the middle lane and plug up traffic, kind of like what I'm doing right now, but I'm trying to accelerate. Go truck, go. <laughs> I'm about 110,000 pounds. Like it's not the heaviest that this uh, truck and trailers can handle, but uh, does make for a bit of slow acceleration. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Um, yeah, that's the 407 exit. Um, if you do not have a 407 transponder in your truck, do not take the 407. Uh, you have to have the transponder. It's ridiculously expensive and they kind of want to keep trucks off the 407 just to keep um, the traffic down um, so you have to have the transponder and your company has to be willing to pay the ridiculously high prices to go on the 407 um, and most companies don't so basically all the trucks going through Toronto pile into the 401 here and a lot of cars too because even for cars the 407 is expensive so you get a lot of traffic on the 401 um, which is only three lanes wide each way for now um, i don't go on the 407 much i've been on there a handful of times in a car oh uh, don't do something stupid guys um, i've been on the 407 a handful of times in a car and I think they have like six or seven lanes each way. Like it's ridiculously overbuilt for the amount of traffic they get because everyone's just kind of forced onto the 401 instead. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of nice when they build up these extra collector lanes because all this traffic going right here will be split between six lanes instead of three and everyone merging on and off the highway will kind of plug up collectors, that's the idea. And Express can just sail on through. This section right up here, actually, on this downhill, is usually about the spot that traffic starts backing up right before they split to uh, Express and collectors. Today it is 
not looking too, too bad. Yeah, because usually all three lanes are almost to a stop by this point at uh, Mississauga Road. But yeah, we're, we're flying right through, so this is nice. <laughs> They, uh, just within the last year, they have expanded the Express and Collectors lanes a little bit farther from what they used to be. Um, and actually this bridge, yeah, this bridge right here, Mississauga Road, you see that little red and white and black sign up on the top of the bridge saying that the no truck law in this far left lane ends. So. If I really wanted to, which I might actually do, I could travel in that left lane because the left two lanes go to express and the right lane plus the middle lane, I believe, yeah. The middle lane will split between either express or collectors. The right lane goes to collectors. This left lane here will go straight to express. Both Express and Collectors will continue on the 401, but if you take the Collectors, you have to get off. There's one exit that gets back to the 401 before uh, Highway 427, and you have to take that exit because it doesn't, Collectors doesn't continue past the 427. It all kind of merges together. But we will take Express here. And sometimes at this split, you can actually get um, farther ahead by taking collectors because right here, you have two lanes in the express lanes. And this far left lane is, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, HOV lane, high occupancy vehicle. So two or more people per vehicle, um, buses, motorcycles are allowed to use that lane. If you're either a truck or a single person with no passenger in your car, you're not allowed to be in that lane. Um, this particular area, I think it's kind of a mistake to put that HOV lane in because it puts express down to two lanes and trucks are allowed to be in both lanes. That's a big uphill back there. So you get one truck that's kind of losing speed in the uphill in the right lane and then another truck goes out into the middle lane there to uh, get around him. But then he too starts losing speed. And so you have two trucks side by side doing a little uphill drag race and all the traffic piles up behind them and everyone kind of gets impatient and angry and that's when uh, stupid things happen done by four-wheelers whereas the collectors lanes there you have three lanes all three lanes you're allowed to be in with a truck which is pretty cool and often I will take collectors in this area but right now we're moving pretty well so I'm okay with um, <coughs> I'm okay with taking Express here. So once you're past that section there, it opens up a bit and um, these far two or three lanes are for the uh, 427, which goes to the airport. Uh, it'll also go south to the 403 and, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Don Valley Expressway or the Gardener. Yeah. <laughs> That'll take you to Toronto, the 427. It'll take you downtown. But if you want to just bomb on straight through Toronto, you stay on the 4, 401 here. So yeah, this sign here, another one of the overhead update signs. 400 north, one right lane closed beyond steels. So 
we're not taking the 400. That goes north up to Barrie and uh, Highway 11. And actually, it'll take you to the west side of Ontario following uh, hi either Highway 11 or 17. Um, yeah, so that sign over there in Collectors, 401 East, those two far left lanes in Collectors, you have to take that to stay on the 401. Otherwise, you go to the 427 and you can't get back on without having to loop around and backtrack again. So, in this section here, the 401 kind of divvies down to these three lanes here and those two collector's lanes, which all kind of merge together. Um, that far right lane ends and then there are four lanes and these four lanes continue almost to the 400. So I mean this section here, um, oh yeah, we're slowing down a bit here, okay. collector's lanes they go to 427 north and 427 south you can't continue back onto the 4 401 so this section here uh, it's not quite to what I call the mixer but um, after the 427 is what I kind of dubbed the mixer because you have, why are my jakes still on? You have a whole bunch of lanes all converging into one space on the 401 and everyone's trying to go from collectors to express, express to collectors and it's a two, two and a half kilometer stretch I think of six lanes that everyone just kind of jockeys around position uh, um, and create slow traffic and uh, I mean back before the days of the pandemic this would always be backed up especially yeah it's 7 30 right now it's uh, getting in the thick of rush hour And considering that uh, Toronto has been in lockdown since November, essential traffic only, um, it's basically just another day on the 401 now. Everyone's bustling, bustling around, going to their essential jobs, and traffic's backed up again, just like it used to be. So right now, we're going under the 427, and uh, you can see all four lanes still continue. These right three lanes go to um, Express, the far right lane there will go to Collectors along with one other lane that gets added up ahead in the mixer. So. Historically, the lane that we're in right now for trucks is uh, the fastest lane that um, gets through the mixer here. Uh, I actually forgot to put a marker truck in the right lane to see how much faster we're gonna get through today, if at all. Um, we'll use this PBL guy, 20th anniversary, we deliver satisfaction. New Marwa Express. So he'll be our marker guy in the right lane there. 
I have had luck getting through in the far right lane there. We'll use that dump truck as a marker. So going through the mixer here, we're going to see which lane is going to get through fastest. We have New Malwa in the right lane and that red dump truck in the far right lane. I see blinky flashy lights up ahead. I think that's on the other side of the road, but we probably have a bunch of rubberneckers. And in this situation, usually it'd be faster to get as far over right from the accident as possible because all these people in the left lane are rubbernecking or trying to merge over into the lane we're in right now. And uh, everything to the right there usually moves faster. But we've been having pretty good luck in this lane, so let's see how it goes. Again, we'll use our... <laughs> we'll use our little marker trucks to see how it goes. This guy's like, why do you have a camera on your head? You're goofy. You're headed east, it's just rubber deckers. Yeah, okay, so it's in the opposite lanes, but everyone here is just gawking. So here we are, a bunch of blinky flashy lights. Everyone's got to stop and look. Come on, buddy, keep going. Uh, look at this red car. Look at all the room he has in front just because he's stopping to look. Probably has his phone out taking pictures. And all of a sudden, wow, traffic starts moving again. Imagine that. Drives me up the wall sometimes.
actually, in the mixer. Uh, you're looking at uh, something happened in the left lane there and everyone's taking a peek. And that's all that you got going on. I missed all of that. What was that? Once you get through the mixer there, the 400 isn't, or the 401 isn't that bad of a drive. Um, and a lot of the time, you can actually get through faster by taking collectors. Um, we will stay in Express just for a little bit, because I see well, it looks like construction or something or slow trucks in the collectors there so we'll hold off a bit but what i normally do is uh kind of i call it the fourth express lane and it is this right lane right here it uh yeah hold on This, uh, this far right lane here will weave in between express and collectors and for the most part you can just park yourself in that lane weave between express and collectors and when you have kind of a drag race of what we're going on in front of us right here where two trucks one is in the right lane one is in the left lane going slow You can use this far left or far right lane here to weave over to collectors, pass them, weave back into express, um, weave back into collectors. Sometimes I'll even just stay in collectors because trucks are allowed to use the far left lane and you can go past the guys that can't really make it up a hill like myself right now. they're still continuing on Express and they'll continue all the way out but then this right lane that we're in right now is going to weave between collectors and Express so we'll put another marker truck those other two marker trucks we're way ahead of that was definitely the right lane to the correct lane to choose back through the mixer the one that we were in was the correct lane to be in so here we are we are now on collectors and if traffic in this lane starts being too much we can go in the left lane and pass we can't do that in uh, in express This will be our one little lane change, I guess, when you take the Yonge Street collector's access. I know it's Young Street, but I always call it Yonge because it bothers anyone I'm talking to. Uh, these guys are going to want to move over here. So, yeah, that lane that we were in, the fourth lane on the right of Express, move to Collectors. Now we had to do one little jog over a lane, but here we are again on Express in the fourth lane. Now because of those two cars slowing down and merging over, I lost a bit of momentum. 
so it might have actually been faster to stay on collectors right here but uh, usually once you get up to Yonge Street traffic backs up on collectors there why are my jigs still on going to use that Chandex truck that's just sitting himself in the middle lane there holding up the four wheelers behind him. I'm going to use him as a marker vehicle even though we're already past him um, because if we move over here and end up getting into traffic he might actually be moving a bit quicker. I mean it's always a gamble Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but this keeps me entertained. <laughs> Trying to map out traffic patterns and see which ways work the best. <sighs> oh, it's too late now to keep on express there. But I see brake lights. We might be toast. right before the 404 um, as you can see right now that ramp in Express for the 404 is backed up and it usually spills over into the right lane of Express and holds traffic up and a lot of guys in the middle lane or left lanes like four-wheelers a lot of four-wheelers merging over at the last second trying to get in to get to the 404 and it ends up slowing everything down and then it's a big uphill at this section here so any trucks that lose momentum from a car that cut them off they're all of a sudden moving dead slow like this WFS guy he probably lost all his momentum yeah he's got his four ways on or signal he might be trying to merge over Expressing. 
going back over to collectors and I might hold collectors the rest of the way down. We will see. Well, we won't see because I can't see. Come on. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, this is gross. space and in the express there meanwhile we're getting held up why are we going so slow ah oh, it's not shandex it's stargate and he's ahead of us again fast and this lane ends oh crap ahead 
and it is Brock Street, and that takes you to Whitby. They are different roads. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so after Brock Road here, we start losing express or uh, start losing collectors lanes, including the lane we're in right now. And we merge into Express. So we lose that lane. We're gonna lose this lane. Actually, no, this one continues for a bit. That double wide zipper lane or a zipper marker is uh, deceiving. Eventually, uh, 
it goes down to two lanes. Um, the 401 eastbound goes down to two lanes up ahead quite a ways. But yeah, other than that, it's uh, pretty smooth sailing on the other side of Toronto. So I'm going to leave it at that and uh, I'll see you guys at the next video. stuck it out in that lane. We're down to like 100. We're doing the speed limit. What kind of madness is this?